this does look like utopia, but my personal thoughts on this project are divided. Today, we're going to talk about a new type of mega city called The Line that will be built on a 170 kilometer long, 200 meter wide and 500 meter high area, completely free of roads, cars and emissions and will run on 100% renewable energy. Is this really possible and will it ever see the light of the day? In 2021, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, unveiled the designs for the line a city without cars designed to be highly efficient with reduced infrastructure footprint that will allow it to accommodate up to 9 million people with 34 square kilometer area. It is located in the Neom region in the northwest of Saudi Arabia, near the borders of Jordan and Egypt. It is being developed as a hub for advanced technology and innovation with a focus on industries such as energy, water, biotechnology and advanced manufacturing. This region is being planned and funded by the Saudi Arabian government with the goal of creating a hub for futuristic technology and a model for sustainable living. Neom is intended to be a fully integrated mega city that is completely powered by renewable energy sources and it is being designed to be a leader in sustainability and innovation. This region is planned to cover an area of approximately 26,500 square kilometers and will include both urban and rural areas. It is expected to eventually house around 1 million people and will be connected to the rest of Saudi Arabia and the world through a network of roads, railways and airports. The whole region is divided into four main big-scale projects called Sinla, Georgina, Oxagon and The Line. Simla is a luxury island destination in Neom that is being developed as part of the kingdom's national tourism strategy. It is expected to start welcoming guests in early 2024 and will create approximately 3,500 jobs in the tourism and hospitality sectors. Simla will feature a prestigious marina, ultra-premium hotel rooms, service departments, a beach club and a yacht club. And it's being developed in collaboration with world-class leisure and hotel brands and is expected to become one of the most alluring islands in the Red Sea. Trojina is a new destination for mountain tourism that is being developed as part of the Neom mega development. It's expected to be ready in 2026 and will feature a sky village, ultra-luxury family and wellness resorts, retail stores, restaurants, sports activities, and interactive nature reserve. Georgina will also host sports, art, music, and cultural festivals, and is expected to attract 700,000 visitors and 7,000 permanent residents by 2030. It's located in the center of Neom with six districts and will include the first outdoor ski resort in this region. It's also being developed with a focus on ecotourism and preserving the local ecology. Oxagon is a new industrial city being built in the sea located at the southwestern area of Neom. It's intended to be the largest floating industrial complex in the world and will establish the world's first fully integrated port and supply chain ecosystem for Neom based on artificial and predictive intelligence and robotics. It is being built as a model for future manufacturing centers that prioritize sustainability and environmental protection while creating jobs and economic growth. Oxagon will focus on seven sectors – sustainable energy, autonomous mobility, water innovation, sustainable food production, health and well-being, modern methods of construction and technology and digital manufacturing. And the last one is The Line. The Line is a linear mega city designed to be a fully automated zero emission city that is focused on providing a high quality of life for its residents. It will be able to accommodate 9 million people once it is completed and will be built on a total area of 34 square kilometers. The Line is being developed in response to the increasing demand for sustainable livable cities in the region and it aims to provide a new model for urban development that is environmentally friendly and socially responsible. The city is being financed and supported by a combination of government funding and private investment. It seems like its main goal at the moment is to attract the attention of the public and bring more funding as it is highly unlikely that Saudi's government would finance the whole $1 trillion, which is the upper limit for the cost estimate for this project. It is expected to be finished in 50 years from now. The project has some really big, bold promises. 
Number one, world-class quality of life. This will be designed as a place where people can enjoy a world-class quality of life, and it is intended to be a place where the best and the brightest people will want to live, work, and play. The line will be a hub for social and economic experimentation, and will be a place where people can thrive without the challenges of pollution and traffic accidents. Number two, place to prototype business. The line is being designed as a place where businesses can prototype new ideas and new technologies. It is a cognitive city that is built around humans and their needs rather than the other way around. This will be a place where businesses can you know, take advantage of zero gravity living and a higher density footprint to create a richer human experience and explore new opportunities. It is expected to create around 380,000 jobs by 230 and it will be a hub of innovation and entrepreneurship. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start a new business or a company looking to test out new ideas, this is where it will happen. Promise number three, environmental solution to urbanism. One of the key features of this is zero car environment, which is part of 100% sustainable transport system. This system will be powered by renewable energy and will have zero pollution and zero wait time, making it an efficient and convenient way to get around the city. The reduced commutes that this system will enable will create more time for leisure and the fact that residents will not have to pay for expenses like car insurance, fuel and parking will mean higher disposable income for its citizens. Promise number four, community inventing the future. The use of advanced technology, planning, logistics, and modular construction will enable efficient delivery of the line and its components. Community will be able to live close to each other and in harmony with nature. In fact, 90% of the Neoms region where the line is being built will be untouched by urbanization, which will create a unique and natural setting for the city. The line will also feature a vertical garden city, which means that residents will always be only two minutes away from nature. These features will create a sense of community and connection to the environment that is unparalleled in traditional forms of urban development. Those are some really big promises, but let's go a bit deeper and see why is the line project so unique. It is 170 kilometer long, 200 wide, and 500 meter tall, with a footprint of 34 square kilometers, with glass facade that is capable of allowing the right amount of light where needed, and also on top of the structure there would be a lot of plants and trees creating a dense forest. It is completely car-free. Instead of relying on traditional transportation methods like cars and buses, the line will utilize a network of high-speed mass transit systems that will connect all parts of the city. This is not only helping reduce the pollution and congestion, but it is also making it easier for people to move around the city and access all of the amenities and services that it has to offer. It will feature a variety of residential, commercial and recreational spaces, as well as educational and cultural facilities. It will also have a strong focus on health and wellness with a variety of fitness centers, spas and medical facilities available. The line also represents this new approach to urban design that involves stacking city functions vertically and allowing people to move easily in three dimensions, up, down or across to access them. This concept called zero gravity urbanism is different from just tall buildings because it includes public parks, pedestrian areas, schools, homes, and workplaces, all within a five-minute reach. This allows people to easily access all of their daily needs without any difficulty. All right, this all sounds great in theory, but let's talk about the potential downsides and problems that this project could bring with it. One potential issue is the cost of building and maintaining such an ambitious and technologically advanced city. While the line is being funded by the Saudi Arabian government, it is still a major undertaking that will require significant resources. There is a big risk that the cost of the building and operating the line could exceed initial estimates, which could lead to the budget shortage and financial challenges. I mean, take a look at the other projects similar to this one, like Jada Tower, that was supposed to be the world's tallest building once built with one kilometer in height. The construction stopped at one-third the way up. Another potential issue is that impact that the line could have on the surrounding region. 
The line is being built in the Neom region, which is an area of desert and coastline. While the project has been designed to minimize its environmental impact, there is still a risk that could have unintended consequences on the local ecosystem. For example, the construction process could disrupt natural habitats and the influx of people and development could put pressure on local resources. There is the question of how the line will be governed and managed. As a fully automated city, the line will rely on advanced technology and artificial intelligence to function. This raises questions about who will be responsible for making decisions and managing the city and how transparent and accountable these processes will be. There is also risk that the reliance on technology could lead to issues with cybersecurity and also data privacy. Now, if you're wondering what's happening right now with this project, watch closely. There has been a released drone footage that has provided a glimpse into the ongoing construction work and it reveals the early stages of the city's construction with hundreds of trucks and machines hard at work in the desert preparing the site for building. We still don't know if this is the real width of the project because it seems smaller than 200 meters, but this might be a foundation for a transportation system, for example. Whatever the case is, something is happening. To be completely honest with you, my personal thoughts on this project are divided. There are a lot of unknowns and a lot of environmental and ethical questions that are still not answered. And this does look like utopia, which is a concept used to describe an ideal or perfect place, but throughout the human history, thanks to our human nature, we never had an actual example of this in the physical reality. Maybe there is a reason for it. But on the other hand, if we don't dream or at least try to create this perfect place, we would never know. I'm a big fan of sci-fi culture and this project really gave me a glimpse of what the future might look like. So for that, I applaud it and I definitely like to visit it one day. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this project and take care. If you'd like to know exactly how to create complex projects like these, and if you're interested in step-by-step -step learning approach starting from zero, make sure to check our Grasshopper Complete course, where you'll find over 60 hours of video material structured in a form of video library, covering in depth more than 500 Grasshopper components through practical examples. And you'll have access to us personally, so we can answer all of your questions right away. The link is in the description.